little bit. See if it's ready by putting a piece of bread as we have all day today. Pick it up and see if it has turned brown, which it has. It's a golden, lovely golden color, which means that we're ready for frying. We're going to start with the little broccoli florets. Now, since these are already parboiled, all we want to do is for them to get golden. And again, I want to use my slotted spoon since these are too delicate to um, lift with, a, with one of these prongs. You see, with the unorthodox way of flouring them first, they have absorbed a lot more of the egg and cheese mixture, which that makes them that much more tasty. Now, if you remember, I uh, lowered the heat to between medium and medium high. It works well with my stove. Now, every stove is different, so you're going to have to adjust it until you it comes to a slow simmering uh, sauteing like this and gives you a very nice golden brown. We don't want it too pale, nor do we want to burn our zucchini. You also notice that I put the zucchini in after the broccoli so that it cooled down a little bit since the zucchini were not cooked and they are obviously requiring a little more time than our broccoli, which were just sauteed on the outside quickly. You see a lovely golden color. When they are that lovely golden color, it's the time to remove them from the pan. Ecco allora il fritto misto. Here we have cavolfiore, which are your cauliflower, carciofi, which are your artichokes, broccoli, you all recognize, which are your broccoli, and zucchini. Of course, we all use that word today, your green squash. Fritto misto. Buon appetito. Our next appetizer will be stuffed mushrooms, which we're going to stuff with clams and breadcrumbs. Now, I have 12 rather large mushrooms for six people. All of our uh, hors d'oeuvres are for six people. And um, if you have smaller ones, then, of course, 18 would probably be as many as you would want. But two of these per person are certainly more than enough. I have four tablespoons of butter in which I'm going to use, uh, glaze my shallots and my garlic. This is uh, four tablespoons of olive oil. One tablespoon will be used in the pan, the rest of it to drizzle on top of the mushrooms. This is one clove of garlic, minced, two shallots, minced, and you know what shallots are. They're kind of a taste between garlic and onion. They're very delicious. These are the crumbs that I used um, uh, from the crust that I took from the uh, pane in carrozza, mozzarella in carrozza, as we always also call them. We're starting out with a cup of, um, of breadcrumbs. Here we have a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And here we have, uh, it, you've probably seen it. it's a white clam sauce that is um, 10 and a half ounces, and you'll see it in your gourmet shelf or in the Italian section. It's called white clam spaghetti sauce, which we are using. It has the minced clams right in it. Salt and pepper to taste is al always a tablespoon of fresh basil. This is fresh basil. This is what it looks like. If you don't have fresh basil, use a teaspoon of your, um, your dry, uh, excuse me, a half a teaspoon of your dry basil and paprika on top just to garnish. All right, the first thing that we do is come to the stove and we will uh, glaze our shallots and our garlic. My butter is melted and my heat is on medium high. In the meantime, I've put my oven at 350 degrees so it'll be preheated by the time it receives the mushroom so we won't have any waiting time then. All right, this is the one clove of garlic which I have minced. 
And I'm going to add also the, uh, the shallots and just let them glaze through. We're going to add this to our filling. This should take just a couple of minutes. The heat is between medium and medium high. All right, our shallots and uh, garlic are nicely glazed. We're now going to add it to the breadcrumb mixture. Give it a whirl. Next, we will add the cheese to the clam mixture. You see what all the clams are there with lots of parsley. We add the Parmesan cheese, a half cup, to this. Mix it well. And as I say, I'm starting out with one cup of breadcrumbs, and we'll see if that seems to be firm enough. It should be. This is pretty thick already, if you can see that. Okay. Now this has the butter, the breadcrumbs, the shallots, and the garlic. And while that is kind of absorbing, while the bread is absorbing the liquid, what I'm going to do is prepare the pan for the mushrooms. I'm going to put one tablespoon of olive oil at the bottom. I have a paper towel here, clean paper towel, and I'm going to just move that around. At the base, we will put some salt for the base of the mushrooms and pepper. All right. Now let's look and see what we're doing here. I think we probably could use there's still some liquid that you can see on the side here. So I'm going to take another pinch. So it'll be a, a good cup, a little over a cup today. Depends upon the moisture of the day, many, many things. The moisture of your bread, many of these things will make a difference. So you start out with one cup. And then when it's about this firm, where you don't see any liquid, at the base of your bowl, then you'll know that it's dry enough to receive the mushroom. All right. Now you can, I guess I'll make it easier for you. Why don't we use a teaspoon, start with one teaspoon, just as though you were filling an ice cream cone, and a second teaspoon. Like so. And we'll do that to all 12. Let's see, let me put another one in the center there so we have there. That looks good. And there's a little left if you like. You can put some over the rest, but I'm not going to bother with that. Next, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil over each one. As you remember, at the beginning of our cooking time, I uh, started uh, preheating the oven at 350 degrees, which should be preheated now. I'm going to place this pan at the lower half of the oven for 15 minutes, and then for five minutes up in the broiler section. Now, would you join me at the oven, please? Our mushrooms are ready, and as you remember, I said that after 15 minutes, I was going to put it in the broiler section, and that's where they are, and they're ready to come out. And here you are, funghi farcite con salsa di bongole, with a, a clam filling. I'm going to place them in the platter now, and we'll have our whole appetizer tray ready for a party. 
Allora, ecco il piatto di antipasti. Now, this is a, an antipasto tray that is just delightful even to look at. First, as you remember, we made the peperoni arrostiti, which were your roast peppers with the black olives. Then we did the mozzarella in carrozza. Then we did our fritto misto, which was first a batter for the cauliflower and the artichokes, and then the other batter, different yet from this one, which we put our broccoli and squash. The last dish to come out was our, uh, our stuffed mushrooms with uh, clams and bread stuffing. Now here you see something that we haven't prepared, but this is so easy and it, it balances the color of our appetizer tray. These are plum tomatoes, which I have sliced in circles, and then one half green bell pepper sliced very, very finely with the webbing removed and the seeds um, with the garlic, again, sliced in slivers so that if someone does not care for the taste of garlic, you don't have to eat it. And uh, we have our basil in this and olive oil. And in our uh, tape, when you purchase it, the ingredients are given as they need to be put in. This is enough. Each one individually would be for a taste for six people, but of course, when you combine it all, this is enough for a lovely party. Allora, buon appetito alla prossima volta. Hope to see you in future tapes. Ciao.